Hey everybody, it is January 17th, which means we're on my 17th episode of my daily vlog or vloguary. I just finished my shift and I'm heading down to uh, my car and we will explain what's going on today. It's been another crazy day. It's Friday. I just finished doing an interview for a podcast slash radio show. And now I'm going to try to actually take a day off and have a real weekend. So we'll see what happens. But man, yeah, meanwhile... Check all that out, huh? Crazy. Crazy the things they have me do. All right, let's do that intro, shall we? Here we go. All right, so I had actually intended to do the rest of this vlog for my car once I got home, do a little in the car bit, you know, before I go inside. Um, because I, I was thinking about how I want to talk about the working in media and in the podcast that I did the interview from for the, that you saw in this opening where I was finishing. But then I started listening to a podcast on the way home, which completely distracted me from my plan for my vlog. And no, oh, these are speaking of distracting. Um, shouldn't wear glasses during interviews. At least I don't usually because I don't normally wear glasses. But when I do sometimes, anyhow, never mind. I took them off. Um, but if you wear glasses, don't be embarrassed about it. I'm not embarrassed about it. It's just the, the reflection I find distracting and the sh shadow it creates on my face with the, the very poor lighting I have in this room. I digress. Anyhow, the vlog post I would like to do today is about working in media and the importance of it and how it's different today for us versus how it was when I first started working in media for the zoo 10 years ago. I've been with the organization for 19 years, but I was doing animal care at the time. And anyhow, so... Social media is important, um, I think, for anybody and everybody. If you are in college or high school, start thinking about it, how um, how is this going to reflect on who you are? And not to say that you should be overly concerned with what people think of you, but think about where you are wanting to go in life and, and how that the path you're on versus uh, the story you're telling about yourself and what does that represent and, and how are you engaging with others. And, of course, networking, too, which is really important in almost everything everything that you ever want to do as far as a career. So um, the point I'm getting at, though, is the importance uh, in my role and what I do uh, for using social media is it helps me connect more with people and share my passion. Now, I know a lot of people want to use social media for business or making their own brand or just putting their name out there or whatever. And I get asked a lot about using social media for stuff like that. Number one, I think if you're planning on trying to create a social media presence, create it about something, create it around something you're passionate about. Uh, for me, it's very easy to do what I do on social media because I'm passionate about what I'm doing. So for me, I'm excited about engaging with people in the realm of wildlife conservation and animal care and, and biology and stuff like that in general. Um, and then I'm also passionate about posting about that and engaging them in the comments with those who leave comments too. Ideally, I would love to be posting on uh, all the platforms I'm engaged in, which would be Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and here on YouTube on a daily basis. That is ideal. In, in fact, some people in, in the world of, of sort of you know, social media marketing say more than once a day is even better. Uh, obviously, in the last couple of months, I've only been able to maybe do every other day at the most, sometimes two days in a row, but sometimes there's two days in between. And that's not ideal for maximizing that tool of social media for you know, creating that opportunity to engage with people. And I recognize that. But ideally, if you're just getting started or you're wanting to really sort of increase your presence on social media and get your voice out there, daily posting is, is I think, a must, if not more so. Um, you know, and, and for those who want to learn more about social media, you, you have to just start doing and tinkering and looking at those who are doing it really well and, and kind of see how they're going about doing it. There's no secret sauce, really. Now, there are people out there that will sell you a book or sell you a you know, an ebook or something like that. And if you have that kind of money to spend, go ahead. But I think a lot of the information that you find there, you can also find for free just on, you know, using Google and using a search on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, I'm kind of getting a little off track. The The point being is the importance. And I think how, how we're fortunate um, to have social media. I know there's a lot of negative things that happen on social media as well. I'm not blind to that, um, but there's a lot of great things. In fact, I'll put something in the iCard right here that'll, you know, Gosh, I always forget which side it's on. It's this side. It's, ah, it's right there. It's going to be right there. Uh, a, a video I did a couple of days ago about why I think there's good in social media and some of the good stuff too. Um, but, you know, when I was growing up, there was no social media. Uh, as I got into my career, the only way to, to broadcast beyond 
the people who could hear your voice would be to get on a radio show or to get on a TV show. And that was pretty hard to do. Uh, there's a lot of people that wanted to do that and a lot of people that are blocking that or filtering that. And so it was very challenging or hard to, to be able to reach an audience beyond those who are right in front of you or around you. Um, you know, and social media, of course, just because you're on there talking or posting doesn't mean it um, immediately hits massive distribution. You have to work that. You have to put an effort into creating engagement, creating an audience, being a part of an audience, having discussions. But it's it's for the most part free unless you want to pay for ads. And, and there's no one telling you, no, you can't or you shouldn't. Um, there's no one there saying that you don't have access to it. So it's really it's a different dynamic now than it was you know, a couple of decades ago. And I think that's something that perhaps if you didn't grow up a couple of decades ago or a couple, couple of decades ago, like myself, um, you don't recognize how unique this opportunity is right now. I think if you grew up in the internet age and you grew up with social media, it doesn't seem that special or different. And I get that. I mean, I mean, it's what you're used to. It's what you have in your life. But recognize that it's an opportunity. And I think as things move forward, we're seeing uh, more paying uh, for advertising needed to reach more of an audience. And that's just the nature of business. It's the nature of the beast. This is their toy, you know, it's Instagram is theirs and we just happen to, to use it. Uh, Twitter is theirs. They happen to, so they can change the rules as they see fit. Um, so anyhow, this big, long rambling, am I making any sense? Uh, you know, um, I think there's a point in there somewhere and I'm not sure I'm, I'm making it. So bear with me. Uh, if you, you know, the point is, uh, the reason I do social media and the reason I do interviews and things like that is because I believe it's important to discuss the things about conservation, about animal care, um, and, and the things I'm passionate about. And I'm thankful that the tools are there that allow me to do more than just speak on a radio show or a TV show that is hard to get booked, hard to get on, um, and I have the opportunity like uh, YouTube here or any of the other social media. So I think I'll leave it at that. Um, I think if you are watching this and you're interested or want to pursue doing more in social media or grow your social media audience, um, go to um, any of my at Zookeeper Rick accounts. And I, I will admit the last few months, it's been kind of quiet on most of those accounts because I've been so very wrapped up in other things. But if you go maybe back into you know, September, October, um, or even now more recently, I'm trying to gear up more. It's not just the content that's being posted and how it's posted. It's the leveraging of proper hashtags and leveraging engagement. I try very hard to respond to every comment if I can. It doesn't always happen, but I try. Um, and those are some of the basic tools because there's no real shortcuts. These are fundamentals in thinking, you know, think about it this way. Social media is kind of like a a cocktail party or a dinner party. And if you are like me and go to these events and you just sit on the wall and hope, okay, I'll talk to you if you tell me, ask me a question about animals, that's not going to give me much engagement. I'm not going to circulate around and meet many people and get people to listen to me if I'm waiting for them to come talk to me about animals. And if they come up and say, how are you doing? You know, want to talk to me about, I don't know, airplanes. I might be able to small talk it, but I'm not going to engage because I don't know about it. But I think if um, you reverse that and think of social media the same way, instead of waiting for those to come to you, but you start engaging, reaching out to those that are speaking about things that are similar to what you want to talk about and engage with that, uh, I think that is sort of the essence of social media because really social media is just a, a platform. It is a program. It's an app. It's a website. And it's people that are engaging there and it's people that you want to engage with you and your content so think about how people want to be engaged with and talk to and work with right Whew, that was a long ramble that was a long ramble and i just i cut for a second there because you know what i'm just gonna take it from the top again but i'm not because that's not what this log is about this log is about just sitting down doing editing minimal editing so that's it i'm gonna do it so there you go. Uh, it is Friday night. Um, if you're like me, you are getting ready to get into pajamas. And then I'm going to sit in front of my um, phone here and finish editing this and posting this and then go to bed. Uh, and if you are more of the outgoing Friday night kind of person, well, then I hope you had a good night. You're probably not watching this tonight. You're probably watching it on Saturday. Either way, have a good one, everybody.